Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have learned how to add the video in the HTML document use the, using the video element we have seen. Now in this video, we will try to see adding some of the features that are available for the video element. Let's try to see. So adding the video itself is not yet sufficient. So if we want to add some features to our video player, HTML5 provides us in the HTML itself. If you want to add through the JavaScript, you have a JavaScript API methods and all those things. We can through we can do through the JavaScript. That is a different thing. But adding the adding uh, so uh, adding some features in the video also it is allowed in the HTML. Let's try to see some of the features that are available in the video element. Let's try to see here adding video features. There are number of other features you can include when displaying an HTML5 video. So we can also see that there are number of other features also are available for displaying the HTML video. Let's try to see. If you try to see here the code snippet, I am I have added here a code snippet of video element. This video element will try to show the video player in the HTML document. So for this one, so we need to open the video element and close video element. And this one you are having some set of attributes, something like controls, width, height, autoplay, loop, muted, preload, and poster. So these are some of the options uh, or features that are available for the video player to control the video options. And inside this uh, video element, we're opening and closing video tag, you'll be able to see the source element, which is source and the type, and also a paragraph element that is uh, used for the fallback content. So that is a different thing. Now let's try to see about these all the features, something like uh, width, height, autoplay, loop. These are all the options. So how it is useful for the video player. Let's try to see it. So first one is the width and height. So the width and height means already you know about the width and height, the what are these attributes and why these are useful. Why? Because we have already seen for the image and also for the uh, image, image we have seen it. So let's try to see. You can control the video size either with these attributes or with the CSS. So if you want to control the video size, video player size, you can also use these attributes width and height or also you can use with the, you can also do it with the CSS. In both cases, videos maintain their native width and height ratio. So in, the, in this both the cases, video may known as the aspect ratio. So we need to maintain the native width and height ratio. That is nothing but aspect ratio, which we have already seen for the image element. If the aspect ratio is not maintained by the sizes, you set the video will grow to fill the space horizontally and the unfilled space will just give you uh, be given a solid background color by default. So this one we have already seen in the YouTube videos and all those things. If you try to enlarge the video, the video, how much the aspect ratio it is there, it will be played. For example, if the width is more than the video means, so horizontally left and right, you'll be getting the solid background color. And also the height also, you'll be able to get the solid black, uh, what I can say, uh, black color. So this is the way. So solid background color will be coming if the width and height doesn't match. And the second one is then autoplay. So this autoplay, what does it will do is makes the audio or video start playing right away so whenever you add the video player whenever the html whenever the video plays rendered in the html document so if you set this attribute automatically the video starts playing without uh, user interaction so it will automatically play starts playing while the rest of the page is loading so while the rest of the page is still loading also if the video player is loaded it starts the it starts playing right away you are advised not to use auto playing video on your sites because user can find it really annoying so this is the thing you already know. So by it is better advised to our not to use this one. Another one is a loop. So this is also another attribute makes the video start playing again whenever it finishes. So whenever the video playback is finished, the entire video is completed means. So if you set this attribute automatically, it starts playing again. This can also be annoying. So only use it if, it, if really it is necessary. So when the video is finished again, it starts playing again so the when you set this attribute and the another one is in muted so muted means you already know that so if you want the was volume to be muted means so, so turned off means you can use this muted thing so automatically the media that it is going the sound will be turned off poster the url of an image which will be displayed before the video is placed before the video is played so that means poster will takes the uh, a relative URL and absolute your file path. So it will take the image file path. Now, whenever the video is starting to play before the video playing, 
it will show you the thumbnail like youtube and all those things how it is showing so like that it will show the thumbnail of the video so it will be used as a poster so it is intended to be used for a splash screen or the advertising screen you already know about this one another one is the last one is the preload so what is this preload so preload is used for buffering large files for example let's say that you are having a large video file it is trying to play so this preload will take one of the three options first one is the none so one when, when you set this preload to none means so the video will not be buffered so you will be able to see in the youtube videos so the video will be buffered uh, if the if your internet is very fast so first one none means so it will not buffer auto means it will buffer the media file metadata means it will only buffer only the metadata for the file so these are the three options that are available so let's try to see the real time implementation of this video tag and these features also so here i am creating a video.html file video.html so i have created this one now let's try to take the snippet so here i will be adding the video element so we have the video element so here i can add directly the video okay so i am using the source so i am using the multiple source that one we have already learned about this one source and this one will take src so src here i will be writing hi dot mp4 okay and another one is the type type is equal to video slash mp4 so this is the mime type so i have added this video and another one is an another source hi dot webmm web webm okay and this is of type webm okay and the fallback thing also if you want you can mention this fallback thing so here i will be using your browser doesn't support doesn't support html5 video player so if your uh, browser doesn't support this html5 video uh, video element means you will be able to see this fallback content not that uh, file if the file is not present don't think that this will be present so if the video player itself is not supported by the browser means then this message will be displayed now if you try to see here the output let's try to see the output of this video player now if you try to see the video player now you are not able to see this video player right why because so we haven't added the browser default controls now i am telling that show the browser default controls so if i try to show immediately the video player will be displayed with the some basic options like play sound option full screen and these all things let's try to add some of the user options something like first of all let's say that i want to auto play it okay so that means automatically it should be played so now it is trying to play the video but the video is not present so it is not trying to play now another one is the loop loop means whenever the video is playback is finished means again it will start from the first onwards so that is the thing now the next one is the muted okay if i try to use this muted automatically the sound will be muted for example if you try to see here the sound is in the muted thing so the sound has been turned off so this is the feature of this muted and the another one is the poster so if you try to see the or otherwise width and height if i try to give width of 300 automatically the height also will be adjusted according to this one so the height is adjusted for example if i try to give the height for this one now let's try to see the width will be adjusted automatically according to the aspect ratio see let's try to take it as 200 so that it will be very easy now if i try to arrange this one 200 see the width also automatically got adjusted if i try to mention width and height so something like height to width and height is of type 200 now if you try to see video player see it is something like this <coughs> now let's try to see i remove this okay so now we have the width and height now another one what we are having is poster so poster means nothing but it will show as a thumbnail at the starting of the video before video is playing it will show this poster so we have already one image right minion.jpg i will try to show this one if i try to add it see the thumbnail what the image what i have added before playing of this video this poster has been is been shown so another one is a preload so this preload option also we have seen preload preload means so you will be having options like none auto and metadata so none means it will not buffer auto means it will try to buffer it okay so these are the some of the options that are available in the video player so these are the features and options that are available for the video element so if you want some more options means you can use the javascript api methods we will see afterwards
so these are all the options so hope you understood about this video element in the next video we will try to see about the audio element also if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you